What's up guys and welcome back to SnowRunner. Today we've got a very exciting mission on our hands, arguably the most important mission yet. We are going to be building our first garage and it's going to be in Zimnogorsk. So you guys know so far in this game the garages are just kind of like once you find them you get to keep them. They're already good to go. Once you uncover it you can use it. In this case you've got to deliver materials to Zimnogorsk, which is quite a ways away, to be able to build the garage, to be able to use it. And obviously, to use a garage, you get to, you know, fast travel there, spawn your trucks there. It's just like, it's, it's super, super important to run missions in that area. So having a garage out there in the boonies is going to be really useful to us. So it's priority number one. Now, if we take a look at our missions here, building the garage is a part of the, uh, the key buildings restoration mission. So we're going to have to deliver two concrete slabs and one thing of fuel to be able to complete this. But first, before we get to that, we've got to complete Geo Research Triangulation. So uh, if we take a look at that, I think that should be under Taiga Oil. Yeah, Geo Research Triangulation. So we're going to go ahead and accept this. Let's track it. And uh, then what we're going to do is let's, let's go ahead. I think we're going to have to go to our global map. I think, is it going to be in Quarry? I think it's in Quarry. Is this where our, our truck is? Yeah, our Azov. So we're going to fast travel over to uh, to our Azov. We're going to complete this triangulation mission. This is why we left the Azov out here with the seismic vibrator on there and everything. And uh, we're, we're just going to get this done. So 527 meters away and 814 meters away. We honestly have no idea what direction we're talking about, though. So I think the best thing is let's go. Let's go south first. Let's go south first and then kind of make the loop if we have to. Let's just, let's let's get to a road and uh, let's get her done, baby. Here we go. Good old Azov. She has, uh, she has definitely, definitely been good to us throughout this series. And I'm excited to be using her a bit more today. So I'm thinking we, uh, I'm thinking we just kind of, Kind of get this thing turned around. Let's just pick a direction and go, and we got to watch the two numbers. If one of the two is getting smaller, we're going in the right direction. Looks like that top one is going to be our culprit. Okay, come on, baby. 483, 478. Yeah, we're, we're heading in the right direction here. So I'm imagining... Oh, shoot, that's a... Okay. That's a tree stump. Got to watch out for those. Those things sneak up on you, dude. You can't really see them over the, the you know, roof of the truck here. But I would imagine they've probably got one on the south side and then one on the north side. What are we stuck on here? I have no no clue. Come on. Oh, we our rear our rear bumper was stuck on that that stump there. All right, here we go. So 427, 423, 418. Yeah, we're gonna head south. We're gonna grab the south one first. There's really nothing down in the south, which is why we're doing it first. At least up north, we have a couple of like refueling stations and stuff like that so we just have to find this we're gonna figure out where it wants us to go let me see i mean it really we're going more east than anything else this thing might not be in the south we're gonna turn a bit south here and let's see if it keeps going down 427 23 19 17 15 13 12 i don't think it's that way i think it's gonna want us to go oh well it could be down here i guess let's let's split the difference let's go Let's go south southwest. Did I say east earlier? I meant I meant west. So we're gonna go southwest here. Looks like that might actually might actually be our key. We're getting close, dude. 270 is is not too far. Lucky for us, once we get inside 150, it's gonna start beeping and going crazy at us. This is probably ooh, a little bit of engine damage there. We're fine. Probably the sketchiest route we could have taken because we've got that big mucky mess up in front of us, but. It's going to be all right. Haven't found anything the Azov can't handle yet, so I'm feeling pretty confident. All right, here we go. So we're, we're down to moving by twos. Now, this is moving by fours, so that makes me think it's going to be somewhere over in this direction. This is nasty, bro. We're going to stick close to the trees and just kind of hope for the best. Dude, this is, this is awful. I'm gonna see if we can climb up over this. This, oh, over to our right is kinda, yeah. Let's see if I can get our winch on this guy. Hopefully we're gonna be able to get through this. This is not fun stuff here. 160, 159, see this is great. We're gonna get right in the 150 range. It's gonna start beeping and that's, we're, we're gonna be bogged down and going through the slow stuff. So this, I mean, this is, 
This is ideal, that's for sure. 122, 118, 114. Oh, it's liking this. 109. Oh, it's it's really liking this. I think we might be pretty spot on with our mark, dude. 70, 66. We're going to be close. We're going to keep in mind our, our other one has gone up from where we were, so it's going to be somewhere on the opposite side, that's for sure. 20, 18, 16. Give me in that zone, baby. Oh, 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 oh. oh. It's going back up. Do you guys think it's it's back? It's probably back to our left. Probably back over in here. Let's try it out. 16, 17, 18, 21. No, it's not. It's back to our right. Okay. Beautiful. Let's find a little little gap we can get her through. Here we go. Alright, we could search. Hit that seismic vibration, baby. That's what I'm talking about. So that's one spot out of two down. Now we got to think. We came down through here. This is where we were. This was getting bigger as we went. So it's going to have to, like, if you draw a line through here, it's going to have to be somewhere up here. I'm, I'm just, I mean, we, sh we should probably, I don't know if I want to go back the way we came. That's the quickest way, though. Let's just go back the way we came. We're going to get back to the, uh, back to the central point we know it's north of. And then we'll kind of figure out, do we've, have to go northeast, northwest. What's the plan gonna be? Gonna kind of play it by ear and see see how this goes. I love how when you're turning with this thing, you guys see you've got you've got all these lines, bro. So many tire track lines. So you've got these crazy four turning wheels up front. Man, this thing is a boss, bro. I'm kind of thinking when we go to make that delivery mission. The actual one that's gonna build a garage. I was thinking we, we could use this thing, or I was thinking since we, we've gotten so many upgrades in the last couple of episodes or scouting episodes and stuff, we might wanna check out the Tega. We repaired the Tega in one of our, our first, probably our first episode out here in Russia, and it's supposed to be really good. It's an off-road truck, similar, uh, ooh, this is way easier than it was the first time. Similar, like, you know, brand is this, not brand, but similar category is this. So I'm, I'm kind of curious to maybe put these two kind of through their paces and see which one handles better. I mean, this thing, we've never gotten it stuck. So it's going to be hard to beat, but I figured we could, could at least, at least check it out. So here we go. Made it out of the muck. And it should be easy to get back to the uh, the drilling station. I'm gonna take this section a little bit slower this time. Ooh, look at that. When your boy has a little bit of throttle control, we're not gonna take crazy engine damage. I just love to see it. Okay, so I'm, we're almost back here. I'm, I'm watching our numbers. We, it's, it's definitely gonna be over here somewhere. I'm wondering if we should have popped a left there. I, I, I think if we, if we go up through this way, we should be fine. So you guys can see, I mean, it, it's, it's slowly getting bigger here, but that's, it, it's slow because we're, we're going more north. It's, oh, there it is. It went down one, but now it's going to start going up as, as we go to the east. So this is going to be northwest of us. We know that for sure. And we just kind of want to, want to follow the path for as long as we can until we figure it out. But you guys will see once we start going northwest, look at this. We're going down by five meters at a time. So it's definitely somewhere over near the marker that I placed down there. This is fun, dude. Trying to figure this stuff out. Trying to use your directional abilities and stuff. That's something I feel like I've always kind of been pretty good with is, is knowing directions and kind of figuring it out. I don't really pay attention very well sometimes, but when I do, I feel like I'm, I'm decent at it. Spatial awareness, I guess you would call that. I, I don't know. Not sure, not sure what the term for it is or like the skill set is, but I've, I feel like I've always kind of had my, like I can locate where I am in, in relation to other things. So anyway, we're going to keep on going. We're going up by four at a time here. This should be pretty easy, dude. What's wild is that we, so we, we, we did a mission with this thing and then we just went all the way to the south side of this island and we did that and now we're coming back up here to the north and we're still like... <laughs> We, we've got over three-quarters of a tank left. Like, th this is absolutely nuts. 
how fuel efficient this thing is. And I think that's what I'm gonna gonna miss most about it. Like if we try out the Tega later on in this episode, I feel like there's no way it's gonna be as fuel efficient as this thing. This thing's gonna be impossible to beat. Really starting to pour here, man. I like it though. Nice and calming. Nothing like a good old rainy day gaming, bro. I love that this this game brings brings the rain to me, even if it's not raining outside. But um, yeah, man, there's something to be said for like, you know, obviously this isn't the most agile or the, the quickest vehicle we have, but it's slow, it's steady, it's it gets it done. Actually, I think this might be more north now. We're not moving as much. I think we might be setting our sights a little bit too low. But it's, it's slow, steady, it, it, you know, consistent worker, not not the, the quickest and not the most agile, but it's also like you can count on it to get you there and not run out of fuel. And that's so valuable. I feel like so many vehicles we want to run out of fuel with in this game. And to, to be able to be out here and like not worry about that, not worry about having to tow a fuel trailer with you or bring another vehicle with you or anything like that is, is just so clutch. Here we go, getting this moving again. We're going up by three or four at a time, depending on uh, the terrain. This, this is good news. Kind of a bit of a sketchy, sketchy route through here. There's a pretty heavy lean to the right. I want to make sure we don't end up tipping over. 424, 418, 415. Yeah, we're, we're looking pretty good here. 400, 396, 392, and we just, we're just gonna keep on going. Home girl, get through there, girl. Starting to get bogged down a bit, but we're fine. Again, kind of a sketchy, sketchy setup here. We're really leaning. We gotta, we gotta take this slow and be ready to shoot that spider web if we need to. There's a nice white birch looking tree over there. I don't think it's actually a birch tree, but that would have been a solid one we could have grabbed. Some pretty deep mud here. Not causing us any issues. Going up by one at a time here, so if we turn right, is it going to go quicker? Is the question? Nope, we're getting farther away. Okay, so it's got to be somewhere up here then. Interesting. How are we going to get up there is the question. I think... I think we might just try to Try to do this here. Kind of seems like a job a little bit more built for a scout, but again, we haven't haven't found anything that's gotten in our way yet, so she should uh, she should be all right. Question is, we, we need to make sure we get to a road. All right, we need to crank a left here, go through here, and get to that road. Ooh, there's a Lost in the Woods mission right there. What's Lost in the Woods? That's gonna get us the Dan 96320. We've got to restore it. Shoot, dude. I don't, I don't have a restore vehicle with us. We're gonna have to come back at some point with a service trailer and stuff. And we can, we can make that happen. I think the best way to do it is if you get the big van body on your back, that gives you the most service parts. We're gonna be able to get through this. We might want to take. Shoot. I don't know. What's the easiest route through here? Just mowing these trees over, probably. But yeah, you get the big like van body service part trailer not the the recovery trailer not the red and yellow one but the van one it's a big big ugly looking green one and uh so yeah you get that and then you tow a fuel trailer with you and that's how you could get but you might not even need the fuel a lot of these things don't really need full fuel dude that thing is hideous that is one of the ugliest trucks i've seen in this game one of the specialized trucks taking part in the ship's recovery operations ran into gas not far from the shore. It needs to be refueled again before it can be used. All right. Um, let me let me see what it needs. Oh, it's it's repaired. It just needs fuel. Okay. So can I? Let me get a little bit closer to it. It only ran out of gas. That's it. I might. I mean, I've got 200 liters here. Let me throw my e-brake on. Can I refuel this thing? It needs 350. Shoots. I don't I don't think I can I can give you that much, bro. I can give you a little bit. Do you guys think we can Do you guys think we can make it to where we're going on 43 43 liters? 
I mean, this thing's pretty efficient, so I'm, I'm gonna trust in her. All right, we're, we're gonna go back to our main mission here. Oh, dude, we're, we're 175 meters away. We got this. Trust. 42 liters of fuel. We're gonna be fine. Don't you worry about it. I'm a little bit worried. 168, 170, 171. What are you talking about? Where is this thing? Is it back behind us? 171, 170, 168. Are you kidding me right now, bro? If we, if we run out of fuel, I'm gonna be so upset. I mean, we could just take a scout vehicle out here and we'll be fine, but 151, 147. We're in the 150 range, 138, 135, 133. Can we turn to the left? 131, 132, no we can't. So it must want us to go this way. I mean, we've only used a liter of, of fuel through all this. So I'm, I'm feeling really stressed out, but I, I think we're gonna be fine. I actually really like that they uh, only require fuel for that one. Not gonna have to go out of your way to get a ton of service parts and stuff. We gave it pretty much all that we could while we could still, still keep going. Here we go, 97, 94, we're after it. Let's get it, boys. 85, 82, 79, three at a time. 76, 74. Come on. Shoot, we're gonna have to go right or left. I'm thinking it's probably gonna be off to the left. Gotta worry about the uh, the tree stumps here. 57. Oh, shoot. Yep, watch out for the tree stumps. I didn't even see that one, bro. They're all over the place. What am I caught on? I'm caught on something. That bush there? Bro, what is... What am I... Oh, oh, Jesus. There's a tree stump back there. Shoot. Okay, the, the beeping's got to stop, dude. Let me, let me see my winch points. I don't have anything to pull me off of this. 100% we're stuck, bro. We, we aren't getting out of this. There's, there's no chance. That thing is so wedged in there. Oh, I'm upset. I mean, to be honest, it's it's really not the worst thing in the world. So we've got our BM-17 here, old handy. I, to be honest, I forgot about her. I was talking about using the Azov or the, 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 oof, don't, don't tip now, girl. Using the Azov or the Tega to be able to tow out here, but we could totally use this thing too. But, um, it's not the worst thing in the world. So we got a fuel trailer here. We're going to bring this out. We're going to be able to refuel up that Dan and voila. That's the second mission completed that we weren't really even planning on. Plus, we get a brand new vehicle that's probably worth a couple hundred grand. So that's pretty exciting. Then we can refuel up our Azov. We can tow the Azov away from the, the tree stump. We can use the, the seismic vibrator on the Azov to be able to, to complete that mission. And I, I feel like, you know, we, we we're going to have to come out here eventually for the Dan anyway. So it's just kind of forcing our hand and making us do it early. That's not the end of the world, dude. I'm, I'm happy to complete another mission. So, you know, it's a bit of a curse, but it was also a blessing. It's honestly just refreshing how fast this BM-17 is. This is my favorite truck in the game as of right now. She just, dude, she... Uh, I mean, we're taking quite a bit of damage. You guys can see down the bottom left there, our, our suspension is kind of in a, a bit of trouble because <laughs> we get going really, really fast. And we, dude, she just tears through everything. Like, look at this. Let's let's start getting up into some of our some of our higher gears here. I guess we're up into into fifth right now. We're going up a hill, so you're not going to be able to see it. But she she just flies, bro. All right, let me see where we're going. We're going to be taking a left here. That's going to be taking us over to the uh, the Dan. So again, this is going to be nice, dude. Didn't really expect to to find a uh, a nice heavy truck today, but it looks like we're going to be able to go home with one. We could even use the we should use the Dan to to tow the uh, what's it called the the Azov out. Be kind of interesting just to kind of get a feel for it, see what she's about. Obviously, we're not going to have any big upgrades on it or anything yet, but uh, just to kind of give it a first shot. Look at these rays shining through the trees. But yeah, dude, this, this BM-17 is, is nutty. So much power. De I mean, not not really great at fuel, fuel economy. You know, that, that's one thing we were talking about so so great about the Azov. Like, look at this thing, dude. We've, we've driven... What the Azov did, less than the Azov did in the very first mission, and we were already down at three quarters of a tank, so. Definitely a uh, 
bit of a rough one there. Looks like we want to go straight here. Just going to follow this all the way through the woods. But yeah, it's, it's definitely refreshing that this thing's a, a bit quicker. Even through the nasty stuff, it just it kind of keeps on pushing. Oh my gosh, dude. You, you stop it right now. You, you stop it right now. That could have been disastrous. Dude, imagine we go from stranding one truck out here to standing two and having to come back out. That could have been so bad. All right. These fuel tanks are, are nice. We've got, I think, 1,800 gallons in this beast. Be careful here, Trev. See, I, I don't like this. We're, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to pull up here. Dude, there's the Dan right there. We need, we need to approach this from a, a very straight angle here. But yeah, there's 1,800 gallons in this beast, but the problem is, is there's 1,800 gallons like way up in the air, so it really kind of messes with your center of gravity a bit. It is not fun in that regard. But it looks like we made it. Throw our handbrake on. Let's go ahead and refuel. We are going to be going from the fuel tank to the BM-17, and then we can go from the fuel tank to the Dan. Bam. Look at that. Completed. All right. And this is ours now. Let's go ahead and swap on over to our Dan. Look at this thing, baby. Dude, that is a long wheelbase and stuff. Wow. Look. Oh. Okay, just just going right through it, no big deal. So our our vehicle is is where at? Where's our Azov at? Over there. I see it off in the distance. All right. Yeah, this is a uh, this is an ugly truck. It's kind of nice up front. You've got a nice view. There's no hood that you have to look out over or anything like that. But man, it's ugly. I do kind of like the exposed drive shaft there, though. That thing is like all the way up top rather than down underneath. That's pretty good looking. We've got all wheel drive and diff lock always on, which is, is a good thing. Probably not gonna be the most fuel efficient vehicle in the in the crew, but it's gonna be pretty capable, that's for sure. I believe this is a heavy truck. Oh shoot. We're gonna be able to make our way through this, we can. Nice. So yeah, we're gonna come up here. Best case scenario, just kind of use our winch to pull this thing out. Worst case scenario, we might have to ram it, but I think I think we should be fine. We can also refuel it, give the fuel that the Azov gave us back. Let me go ahead and uh, pull up right here. We're going to use our winch. We're going to attach it to our backside and attach this to the, the back left of the Azov. Come on, baby. Shoot, that's not really working. Okay. We might, dude. I don't. We might have to hit it. If we hit it. If we hit it on like this, is it gonna? Is it gonna move it? This is miserable, bro. I was thinking we could go to the left side and come in and hit it like this. I don't know if we're gonna be able to get it there though. Please don't tip. 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 We really need you, girl. This is absolutely ridiculous. This turned from such an easy job into so much effort but I kind of love it because that's kind of how this game goes yeah dude we can't I mean we can't cut through there because we have all, way more of these things I'm really hoping this works dude I, I, I don't know what we're going to be able to do otherwise I really I really don't know so here we go we're going to get this thing in there oh hit something there oh if we would have got that thing stuck I would have been so ridiculously upset all right, get ourselves lined up. Here we go. Not moving too fast, but it it might it might just be fast enough. Oh, we're we're free. We're free. Oh my gosh, it worked. Okay, now we need to find a way back there that isn't tree stumps. I I can't. Oh, okay, we're we're good. Is there going to be a way back there around the rock? Probably not. Okay. So we're just going to have to be very, very thoughtful and very observant and try to look for all these snakes in the grass, bro. This is... Dude, I can't, I can't even turn. We're stuck on a rock now. I really want to turn. I can, I can see the route that I want to take through. But this rock has other plans for us. 
Okay. What's the best way for us to see? Dude, see, like, I can't... In some of the really thick stuff, it's kind of hard to tell. 37, 35... Oh my god, we're stuck on a freaking another one, bro. There's no way. We're good. Get... Uh... Gonna have to take a little bit more of a right. Bring it around. Shoot. But we can't get around the tree. Oh. 22 meters, 20, 18. I don't see any more tree stumps. We got it. You son of a gun! <sighs> worst mission I've ever done in my whole life. Absolute worst mission I've ever done. I'm gonna go ahead and recover. We're gonna bring all these things back. That was that was awful. The more trucks you need, the bigger the problem, I guess. So this is our uh, our Dan here. I just kind of wanted to take a look at this thing. I don't think we're gonna be using it. Uh, we could use it today potentially. Let me. What are what are our frame out on options? It actually, we do have a saddle low. Do you guys want to check out the Dan today? I mean, I'm not against it. I was going to check out the Tega instead. Do we have any other other upgrades? Looks like we've got a stock suspension uh, engine. Ooh, we do have uh, better acceleration and durability, increased power at the cost of fuel uh, efficiency. That actually sounds pretty good. Let's check this thing out. Why not? So we've got that. We don't have the special gearbox, stock suspension. Going to be looking for... Um, Probably for some, do we want off-road or mud tires? Average, excellent, good. Poor, excellent, excellent. Um, I guess we probably want to go with these mud tires. Yeah, we're going to throw these things on here. For the winch, you're going to be able to go with the, ooh, twin motor heavy. Two dedicated motor, ultimate pulling power of all winch setups or extended heavy. I mean, I guess let's go for the twin motor heavy. Why not? Uh, we've got a, a spare wheel here. Don't have it unlocked yet, though. Uh, we do need the saddle low for what we're going to be doing today, so we're going to throw that on there. Visuals, let me see what our exhaust options are. There's a heat-shielded option. This is... Oh, we're definitely going for the heat-shielded one. Are you kidding me? That looks sick. Rooftop, we've got uh, beacons, taller beacons, horns, double horns, fog lights. I feel like the, the external horns are pretty good. I'll go with that. Front bumper, we can get the lattice on there instead of the stock. Guess I'm down for a lattice and then rims. Got a couple of options. I'm gonna go with number two. For visuals, color upgrades. I mean, I feel like the the green, the green and white looks pretty good. That's stock one, right? Oh no, the stock one has red in it. This one takes out the, the red and exchanges it for black. We've got orange and black. We've got this. We've got red. We've got blue. I mean, I, I kinda I feel like the, the stock one looks pretty good. I kinda like that. Alright. So we're gonna roll with that. Changing plans, bro. Can't can't be mad at it. We're just going to do what we can every day and get our jobs done. So now what we're going to be doing is a, hopefully a little bit less intense. I mean, it's it's more and less intense. We'll, we'll see how difficult it ends up being to be able to get these supplies and stuff. But uh, we are going to be attempting to do the key building's restoration in Zimnogorsk. So there's a neglected warehouse in Zimnogorsk. That has been abandoned for many years. We've decided to take ownership and put it to use. Can you deliver the materials we need to begin renovations? We need two concrete slabs and one tank of fuel. We're going to go ahead and accept this. Start tracking it. Let me check. I want to check our Zimnogorsk map to see... Okay, we're dropping this off up here. Okay, that that's good. So we want to go through here and we're going to go to quarry. And if we check our quarry map... If you just go through the main road on Quarry, this Zimnogorsk thing is going to take you to here. And then you have, it, it's like right on top of it, you know what I mean? Like you come out here and then you can just immediately deliver it. So that's smart. However, we are going to have to get the supplies. So we need two concrete slabs, which are going to take up two slots each, four slots total, and then one fuel, which means we're going to need a five slot trailer. What's this trailer right here? Sideboard semi-trailer? We might be able to go go pick that up and use that. Let me check our, our trailer thing here. Si sideboard semi-trailer has five. Okay, rather than buying a trailer, I say we go grab this. Oh, it's not there. Where was it? This guy. So we're going to go through the main road. We're going to come to here. Go here. Grab the trailer. Come back out. We're going to go down. We're going to go to the factory. Come back out. Go back up and around. Fuel, we're going to be able to grab from here, I think. Yeah, here. And then we're going to be able to make our delivery. So really, 
the sketchy part's gonna be towing a, a giant five five crate trailer on a truck that's already really long. Dude, we're, our, our, the length of our vehicle is gonna be so ridiculous. We would be much smarter to go with something smaller like the Tega or the, the you know, BM-17 or, or the Azov or anything like that, but we're, we're gonna be all right, man. I like to, uh, I like to live young, wild, and free. That is one long boy right there. My goodness. I mean, it's, it's pretty cool, and I feel like it's, for, for certain scenarios, I feel like it's gotta be pretty powerful. You know, having a long wheelbase like this, pros and cons, I feel like cons are it's really hard to maneuver, but pros could be that you, you kind of cover more ground. You could probably get to do some pretty tough stuff with this thing. 350 liter fuel tank, it does look like it's about, about average, not, not great, not bad, about six liters a minute. You get down to the mud, that's probably gonna be a little bit a little bit worse than that, so. I would say it's it's not the best on fuel economy. Definitely not the best on looks. I'm sorry to say, but oh shoot, okay. Let's let's not let's not look at our trucks because we, we put them in the ditch, Trev. Or we can like look at them when they're stopped, but you know, you're, you're kind of supposed to pay attention to the road when you're driving. Check the inside here. I mean, this is pretty bare bones. I definitely feel like our BM-17 has a lot nicer interior. Ooh, that's cool. What is that? We've got switches and stuff. Yeah, really, really bare bones. You do have great, great vision, though. You know what I mean? Like, there's, there's nothing impeding your view here. Take a look out the outside. Well, that doesn't really, that doesn't really work very well. But seriously, you, you have full view straight ahead. There's no hood in your way. You're actually fairly close to the ground. I feel like. So you have kind of a, a good visual of what's going on in front of you and what you're about to run over and stuff like that. It's kind of odd that the tires are behind you. I don't know. Kind of, kind of an interesting truck, kind of an ugly truck. Let's hope she does well for us. This is where you're seeing kind of the negative side of a really long wheelbase because we... There's so much underneath there to get beached on, you know what I mean? Makes it really easy to, to kind of get yourself... Stuck into some bad situations. Oof. I hope we're going to be able to make it out of that, dude. If this is going to take a saddle high, I'm going to be so upset. But I, I, think, I think we should... We should be good. Get myself turned around here. Get this thing lined up. Dude, this is this is a whole lot of truck. I really hope this is gonna work. Let's go ahead and uh, not attach the winch. We wanna attach the trailer. All right. Well, this is our longest delivery ever, both from the length of our truck and trailer. Also, I, I think this is actually like the, the most distance covered. I don't think we've we've traversed three maps before to be able to make a delivery, so this this should be should be interesting. I'm gonna try going to the right this time. I think this might be slightly better territory for us. Plus we've got the light poles, the phone poles, electrical poles, whatever you want to say. If we need them. Ooh, see, yeah, we're getting beached up a little bit here, Playboys. Dude, this is <laughs> look at the length of this thing. <laughs> This is outrageous. All right, let me see where we're going. So I think we want to bang a left here. We want to go down to the factory. Yeah, we want to bang a left, and that's going to take us straight to the factory. Easy enough. Easy enough. See if we can swing this thing without turning around. It's going to be close. I think we might make it. Ooh, -wee, look at that turning radius. She's getting it done. Try to stay out of the water there. Gotta stay on the dry side if we can. Ooh, we've got some nasty stuff coming up though. Gonna try to stay to the right. Oh no. Thinking about going down to low, but it looks like it's actually, we aren't spinning the tires too bad. We're throwing a little bit of mud, but we're, we're doing all right, I think. Here we go. If we can tow ourselves over to this pole. We might be able to grab onto that tree eventually. Oh, this is just... We're moving a little bit here. I think eventually we're going to be able to get to that tree up in front of us. Not going to lie, I'm not like mega impressed with this thing yet. Although, again, this probably isn't the, the best like situation for it. Looks like we could get one tree all the way over there. What is this connected to? problem is I just really oh there we go that's better 
I really don't want to have it run into this telephone pole. Here we go. Now we're going to be able to connect to this. Let's go back into, into auto. This should get us to dry land. Ooh, this, this looks nasty. What is this route that we took, dude? It looked pretty clear. I didn't think it was going to be this bad. I mean, this, this isn't too bad. We can make it through here. Dude, this is just... <laughs> that is a heck of a lot of trailer behind us, boys. I don't think we've ever used a five-piece a five -piece trailer before. I think this is our first time doing that. We've got to be really careful. The good news is, is I think we're going to be staying mainly on main roads throughout this. So, hopefully, all is well there. Just got to remember to take our corners wide and kind of do our thing. Here, I think it's it's better to take the long way. I don't know that we're making it through that. I would I would bet any amount of money that we wouldn't make it through that. So we're just we're we're gonna go out and around and uh, take our time, enjoy the scenery. Now this is more like it. Feel like feel like this is this is definitely definitely better for us here. Nice paved roads. Don't have to worry about anything. I mean this is this is a long way out and around, but. Not gonna have to be too concerned about being stuck. I'm wondering what's gonna happen. I mean, I, I feel like adding a load is, is gonna add a little bit of traction for us, but adding five slots of a load is a little bit concerning. There's no doubt about that. All right, we're gonna have to take this one kind of wide, I think. I mean, this trailer handles pretty well, dude. I don't I don't feel like it gets too far on the too far on the sides for us but yeah dude like this is just this is gonna be a lot of weight strung out over a long long space I mean up front where the hitch is it should give us a bit of uh, a bit of extra traction a bit more grip I'm gonna come around stay close to the foam poles here always give us something something to grab onto if we run into issues also just kind of stay in the dry parts Oof, this section's a, a bit sketchy. Come on, girl. Just gotta get to that bridge. There it is. That's what I like to see. She's got some, some go for her. She, she's got a little bit of attitude. She likes to, to work hard. The thing is, is once we... If we can get these slabs and get out of here and get back up to the main road, it's pretty much paved roads the rest of the way to, to the garage. So we, as long as we can get through this, this opening part is going to be the hard part. There's no doubt about that. Once we get through this, that's going to be all she wrote. Dude, look at that. That is just massive. Okay, so where's our... Looks like the entrance is going to be right here. This is just... I can't get over how long it is. That is insane. Keep on pushing here. Keep on doing your thing, girl. Loving what I'm seeing out of you. Give you a little pat on the dash. And here we go. We're going to have to make it through here. Oh, lordy, 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 lordy. What are we going to do? Definitely could have taken this a bit wider. There's no doubt about that. I'm just going to put it through. As long as the front half of the trailer makes it through, I feel like the rest is going to follow. If it bangs on the side, we're fine. Nope. Clean. Clean as a whistle, baby. All right. What's our best way to turn around here? I'm thinking we take a left. Let's go through here and then come back around. I think that's going to be our best bet. Take it nice and wide. Got to think about this, dude. You want to do these crazy maneuvers while you don't have a really heavy load. Oop, we can't even turn there. Took some image, engine damage, we're fine. Come around this way, just keep it nice and wide, nice and slow. Watch out for the barrels, watch out for the pull there. Swing this guy around. I don't know what I would do without the third person view, dude. Try to look at the end of the trailer and these mirrors, you can't even see it. Bring this, this around nice and wide. All right. There we go. Now we got a straight shot out of here. So, give me uh, give me two of them, them concrete slabs there, boy. Whew, that is a heavy load. All right, let's see where we're going to be going next. So, we need to get up 
to this. What's... Oh, wow. Oh, wow. We don't have a good way to get there. Oh, man. Because that's going through water. This is going through a sketchy thing. That's going through a heavy, a heavy, you know, water infested area. I think our best bet's probably going to be able to, 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 to be to make two trips. But your boy also doesn't really like making two trips. I, we aren't, I, I know this area, we aren't going to make it through that with this. There's, there's no chance. It's super sketch. I think our best bet would potentially be to try to just come down this mountain and then go back up the mountain. If you want me to be completely honest. This is, I mean, this is going to be mega sketchy either way. I think, I think we're going to have to go back out the way we came and get back up to the, the main road. Take the main road all the way through, and then I guess I guess we'll see what happens. Even just going back out the way we came makes me nervous, though, because this, I mean, we almost got stuck a couple times. Oh, this makes me so nervous, dude. Maybe she's going to handle a bit better with a, a heavy load. We'll, we'll see what happens. But... I don't know. I'm nervous. I just, I, I kind of want to YOLO it just to see what happens. At the same time, YOLOing it scares me because that means everything that we've done in this mission up till this point has been for a waste and we're going to have to go back and do this again. Like getting two sets of concrete slabs is, is obviously not chump change, no matter what vehicle you're in. So like, do we, I, I, I gotta, I gotta see the hill. I gotta see the hill. We're gonna find out if it's worth risking it for the biscuit. So this area gave us some trouble in the past. Our first time through. Still kind of giving us some trouble, but I do feel like... I feel like that was that was better than we originally started. I, I think we have better traction. I think... I think the load has actually helped us a bit more than it's hurt us. Because we're, we're kind of cruising through this, and this was not our favorite area last time. Make sure you don't tip here. Yeah, dude, we're, we're kind of flying. All right. I mean, that's a good sign. Oh, boy. This this area looks looks pretty suspect, pretty sketch here. Hopefully, we're going to be able to make it through this. I do see we've got a big tree off to our left and then some other trees off to our right. So, we should should be able to make it. Or we could use the tiny bushes. Those, will, those work, too. I'm all right with that. I actually, so once once we get out of this, I thought of, of one thing we might be able to do. One solution here. We might not have to get oil from this map. Are we are we in the clear here? I think we're in the clear. So let me let me go to our global map. Let me check uh check the quarry map. So we're gonna come out here. We can pick up fuel in this fuel station right here. So we're gonna come through here, we can get fuel, we can refuel up, and that's what we're gonna do. All right, so our, our plan is we're gonna go out to here. We're gonna go through here, all the way through all of this. I guess we could get fuel there if we need it. And then we're gonna go straight to quarry. So that way we don't have to mess with this fuel station. It's just kind of in a bit of a sketchy area, I'm not gonna lie. I mean, really, there's there's no guarantee we're even gonna make it to, to where we're talking about, because we gotta get through this. Just try to keep that momentum as long as possible. Keep on digging, girl. Keep on digging. Oh, she wants it. She needs it. That's what I'm talking about, baby. My go, okay. Bit of a sketchy spot there, but we're we're good to go. All right, beautiful. And we're trying to trying to stay over on the dry sides as much as possible let's use our first person view because we have a nice view of the ground down there in front of us and it looks like after half a take of gas we have made it back out to the main road we want to take a left right i just i i, I can't be too careful here i want to make sure we're, we're going the right direction so bam look at that oh shoot forgot we can't take all-wheel drive off so not going to be saving any gas here, but yeah, we, we did it, man. We made it. We made it happen. Got two slabs of uh, two slabs of concrete back here. We're going to add one little thing of fuel. 
once we get over to the quarry and uh, really now we've just we've got to be careful obviously we've been going slow and, and methodical through some of the mud and stuff we can get going quicker here we can shave some time off this delivery but we don't want to do that at the expense of safety definitely don't want to end up uh, end up flipping this thing or stuck or worse can't think of anything that's worse than flipping it though so we're gonna come on around this way this is our kind of our, our final scary section I think it should be able to make it I mean I don't know it's 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 pretty nasty we're gonna stay to the far right here Ooh. we just hit there there's a rock we're good we're gonna stay to the far right I'm gonna try to stay on this dry side here and then we're going to have to make it across this crossing on our own. If we can't make it across this, then we're not going to make it to our destination. Looks like looks like we're going to be good to go, though. Look at that, dude. See, that right there is where the long wheelbase does kind of kind of come into play. Because our front wheels were down in the water and the nasty stuff, but our rear wheels were still back on the dry ground. And then by the time our front wheels get on the dry ground, our rear wheels are in the nasty stuff. So they kind of work together and and come together in unison as one. Okay. Okay. I really... Oh. Bro, there's no way. What about high gear? Should we put her in high? I don't think high is gonna help. There's no winch attachment points. How close are we to that one over there? We're super close. No, no, no cigar yet though. So here we go. We're just gonna have to... We're going to have to inch over there. Definitely would have been smarter to use... Well, I, honestly, I don't know. I, I feel like one of our off-road trucks, like the BM-17 or something, would have been a better idea. I'm not I'm not going to lie to you. I, I, think, I think we would have been able to get through this a lot easier. But you never know. I mean, this, this is a very heavy load, so maybe the fact that we're in this heavy truck, we've got more horsepower. You know, our, our little off-roaders could have potentially gotten stuck with this much weight, so... At the end of the day, if we make the delivery, that's what counts. And it looks like old girl has made it through the final hurdle, baby. Oh my goodness, I could not be more proud. So it's been a, a pretty simple ride through here. Just pretty much a paved road. Nothing nothing too crazy. And it looks like oh, we have made it to the tunnel to quarry, baby. Oh my goodness. We only have 112 liters of fuel left. The good news is this is gonna drop us off right next to that fuel station where we can grab fuel. We can grab the, the fuel delivery option as well. And uh, whew, things things are looking good, baby. Here we go. Let's keep our fingers crossed, keep doing our thing. Make sure we take these turns wide and uh, we gonna be all right, baby. Here we go. Looking pretty good so far. Gonna be pulling in here for some gas. Trailer in tow. We've got this open slot ready and waiting to be filled. That sounds kind of sexual. All right. So we're gonna grab. Uh, we're gonna grab this right here. Let's go ahead and add some fuel, and then we're gonna back this thing up. Not too far. I don't want to get too crazy. But if we back it up, then we should be able to kind of pull it right in here. Let's grab ourselves some extra fuel and uh, fill her all the way up. There we go. So really our plan here is to just kind of follow this main road all the way across. This area is going to be a little bit sketchy because there's a rock in the road as well as this area, I guess, is going to be a bit sketchy. But I think we should be fine there. Uh, looks like this has some water too. But overall, it's, it's pretty much paved all the way through. So if we can get through a, a couple of small little hurdles, that's going to take us over to Zimnogorsk. And uh, you guys know the, the objective is, is literally like a, a tenth of a mile inside Zimnogorsk on a paved road. So if we, I mean, it's, we said we had already gotten through our final hurdle, but technically this map is our last hurdle. If we can get through this, then we are absolutely 100% guaranteed for success. And look at this. The biggest... The biggest shipment yet. Look at that thing, dude. Oh, I love it. Alright, let's pay attention to the road. So this is sketchy spot number one. We do have trees that we can use to grab if we need them, but to be honest, I don't know that we're gonna need it. Dude, this thing is kind of beautiful. I'm not gonna lie to you. I really... I, 
it's like a, a father that loves, or a, you know, like the, a face that only a mother could love, or whatever the saying is. Like, I, I'm a father of this thing, and, and it's working really hard for me, and I, I just, you know, I, I can appreciate it. I know not everybody may appreciate the looks here, but I appreciate the looks, and I know, I know that the relationship runs deeper than just the way, the way it looks, so I'm proud of you, son. You mean the world to me. I love your macaroni art, or whatever. You, your trucks, you don't make macaroni art, but you know what I mean. I love the way you, you take big <laughs> loads. <clears throat> okay, so made it through that that first little segment pretty easy. Or the first two segments actually. So we know there's one more kind of watered area coming up here, and we can see that road icon up there. Oh my goodness, that is our our safety blanket. That is what we've been trucking to this entire episode. We've put so much effort into this episode, dude. I thought this was going to be a simple one. It was not. It was not at all. There's our final little puddle we're going to be going through, and that's that's just a no-question victory right there. That's what I'm talking about. We can start the celebration now. As long as your boy doesn't put this thing off the side of the road, we should be all right. Go ahead and take this a little bit wide. Get it around these holes here. I mean, it is kind of sketchy down there. Dude. I, if, if we went off this thing, I think we would be in a bit of trouble. That long wheelbase wouldn't really give us a ton of uh, ton of ground to work with. Make it around through here. We're going to be able to travel to Zimnogorsk. Now, I'm pretty sure, I'm like 99.8% sure this is going to put us where we want it. I really hope it is. Yeah, we're right here. Our objective's up here. The turn in is right here. Oh, dude, we made it. We did it all in one, too. That's so cool. Our biggest delivery, our longest delivery, just a, a world record breaking delivery happening today with a vehicle that we didn't even really know existed until we, we spawned in and found her. And then we got stuck and, and had to, to retrieve her. Ooh, this is, this is kind of rough. So I think we're gonna wanna do this in two parts. We're gonna pull up here like this. We're gonna reverse it. And then we're gonna try to swing it as wide as we can here and hope that she can make it through. Your boy's actually getting halfway decent at trucking. I don't mean to toot my own horn, but like what? Your boy is, is making things happen at this point. Can we get in there? Dude, we just need to touch it to be able to get the objective. Cargo management. Bam, bam. And the best part is, is, dude, this is a garage. So hold up. Let me, uh, oh, actually, do we have a, do we have trailer sales right here? Dude, we're going to be able to sell our trailer. We went out and picked this trailer up so we didn't have to buy one. And now we're going to be able to straight up sell it. So we're going to make even more money than we were originally planning. And this is a giant semi-trailer. So these things, these things fetch a decent price. This was literally the perfect episode. Things could probably have gone better. But at the same time, I'm, I'm happy with how they went. 6,800 extra dollars just because. And now watch this. We're going to be able to hit recover. And we're not going to have to go all the way back to the drowned lands. We have our own garage out here. Take a look at the global map. We've got... We've got a garage down there. So we're going to be able to fast travel back and forth, kind of do our thing. We can spawn our trucks in. You know, let me go to my garage. Oh, I, I, I want my, my scout. So we're going to go into our truck storage, be able to grab our, our Tuz, leave the garage, and look at this. We're already out here. And the furthest map in the entire game, we built a garage. That is so clutch. All right, I hope you guys enjoyed. I'm going to see you guys in our next episode. Thank you guys so much for watching. Let me know what you guys want to see next. I'm thinking we might go back and check out Alaska. I don't know if you guys like that idea, and uh, I'll see you there.